Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is React JS video tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, we will show how to render React JS components into a bootstrap accordant panel. Now let's check the final output. How to render multiple components into a bootstrap accordion panel. The first one app component. Notice here this is the app component. The next component is the background component. And next one is the image slider. App component. I'm closing and opening. Image slider. I'm opening and closing. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous React.js tutorials. You can find those video tutorials in my channel playlist. Now let's continue the today's tutorial. I am using Visual Studio Code to create a React.js application. And here I have already created the React.js application. The application name is BIS. And I have created this application in this folder react.js bootstrap is. At the right side panel, notice the app.js, which is a react.js default component of our application. Now, what I'll do is first I will add one new component into our project in the source folder. I click the source folder, new file, and the file name is accbor.js. Now in this JS file, we will create a react.js component. But before that, we need to import the react class from a react library. So first let's do that from import react from between single quotes, I'm adding the react. After that, I'm declaring a function. Inside this function, I'm adding the accord, the function name and this function uh, export default my component name after that this function return inside this return method I'm adding the do element which is a root element of our component inside this root element I'm adding one h2 tag I render React.js component, React.js components into bootstrap accordion, bootstrap accordion. And after that, I'm adding a simple horizontal line. Now, the next part is we need to install the bootstrap to our React.js application. So, for that, open a browser and search for react.js bootstrap enter and from the search results I'm selecting the first option react bootstrap and this bootstrap is a free open source we don't require any license after that getting started and notice in this getting started we got the installation this is a command we need to run to install the bootstrap into our react.js application switch back to the visual studio go to view and select terminal and here we got a terminal which is nothing but a powershell or command prompt and the path is d column react.js bootstrap is which is nothing but our folder name inside this folder i have created my application so first let's add my application name to this path after that, I am pasting that command which I have copied npm nudget package manager install react bootstrap bootstrap. Enter. And notice here the react bootstrap is installed successfully. Let's check this package is installed or not into our application. For that, open package.json file. Now in the package.json file, notice the React Bootstrap version 1.4.0. This is the version. So the Bootstrap has been installed successfully. Now let's close this JSON file. After that, let's import the Bootstrap 
from between single quotes uh, react bootstrap now between these curly brackets i want to add the accordion accordion and this accordion um, go to components in the components notice here we got uh, accordion in this accordion you can find different varieties of different examples of accordions but just for the demo purpose i am adding the simple one copy this one accordion and i am pasting this here and also what i am doing i am adding a do container uh, here only will add in this do container i am adding in this do i am adding a class is equals to container and after that now before adding the react.js components to this accordion panel let's check this accordion panel is rendering or not on the react.js application so first let's save this application the component and now the next step is most important when we want to render our own component on the browser we need to configure the component in index.js file here it is the index.js file open that one and notice in the index.js file the default render component is app component but our component is accord let's add that one accord now we need to import our component also from the path let's save the whole application save all now it's time to check the output come to the terminal let's start npm start to check the output npm start and here we got the fail to compile the reason we need to import this card and button also because if you check in the accordion there is a button component here let's add the accord button and also there is a card this card we need to add here and the most important and the most important we need to add the bootstrap css cdn link also so first let's grab that one switch to the react.js bootstrap go to get started and the get started notice at the right side panel we got css link click that one here in the css notice in the css this is the line cdn link we need to add copy that one and paste here that's it let's save this file save all now it's compiled successfully it's showing warnings because we need we have not added app let's reload the browser here it is showing already the panel click me click me and now let's modify this according toggle this one is component one comp app component let's add the app component in this app component i'm adding the header the component name app and also mean required to import the app component here app from app and the next one i'm adding the bg color.js this is my second component let's add that one also import bg color from bg color let's add the another one image slider import image slider is one of my other component from 
image slider. Let's add these components in the according panel inside the card header. The uh, first one is the app component. We have added app, and the second one is the background color component. Background component. The card header. I am adding the component name BG color and now and now let's add one more component uh, according link this one for the image slider copy that one image slider component and inside the bg color i am adding the component name image slider that's it let's save this file save all we'll check the new output and here it's showing the first component is already open what i'll do is the default activate key is zero the event key is zero which is the app component i'm deleting that one so let's save this file now we'll check the output i'm reloading the browser here we got the components within the according panel when i click app component here we got the app component the second component or oh, here something we need to configure notice that the event key one for the background component and image slider also event key one let's change this one event two and also the collapse also accordion collapse also two so this file save all reload the browser now let's check the final output how to render multiple components into a bootstrap accordion panel the first one app component notice here this is the app component the next component is a background component and next one is the image slider app component i'm closing and opening image slider i'm opening and closing that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to add multiple components react just components in a bootstrap accordion panel thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel